All right, well, I'm taking a part out of my spare Lenovo desktop computer. It's the card reader. I'm not really using this computer, and I could actually use that card reader in my main computer for downloading uh, videos and pictures, because sometimes my USB ports are finicky with the portable card reader I have, so I'm going to take this one out and see if I can install it in my main computer that I use. Alright, so basically it's using uh, looks like a USB port. I believe that's what it looks like. It's pretty similar to the USB plug. But, uh, yep, so this is one cable. I got a couple screws right there, and then I got a couple more on the other side. It looks like it's just a uh, bracket. There's no case covering the circuit board there, so not a big deal. But yeah, let me get the other panel off here. Here I have a screwdriver to pry it off. Get that out of the way. So now, uh, it's going to be in there. Yeah, right there. So, alright, I've got my Phillips. So we'll go ahead and remove it. Alright, screws are out. So now, yep, it just slides right out just like that. And pull the plug with it. So, yeah. No idea what brand this is, but uh, yeah, there's no cover to uh, protect the circuit board. So, not a big deal. Just make sure I don't spill anything because the hole that's going in is kind of kind of big because uh, I don't have the other plate that goes on top of it. So, all right, I'm going to have to change out these screws too because it's going in a clear acrylic case and these aren't going to be long enough to reach the bracket when I install it. So, I'll have to dig up some longer screws. All right, found four. So these should be long enough to go through the clear acrylic case and uh, secure it like it should be. Again, there's a better shot. The only thing it doesn't have is a USB port, but I think I'll be all right without it. So we'll go ahead and install it in my other computer. Okay, so I'm in there. I'm going to be putting this thing so. If it's shut down, we'll just move it and put it in. All right. Okay, now, get some light on the action. And we'll get our internal card reader, get the screws out so I can get it lined up and inserted. A filthy floor. Okay, so now put the cable through first. Something like that. Uh, guess I'm going to need two hands. Hold on. Well, got a dilemma. I got a hard drive in my way. Eh, right, right there. So I got to move the hard drive down below where the Western Digital is. And then I'll have the room I need to pop this thing in. <sighs> oh man, that was fun. Two terabyte hard drive is in place, so now I should be able to properly install this card reader. See the cable through. Oh yeah, much better. And line them up with the holes, a little something like that. Trying to do this and record at the same time. Bit of a challenge. Okay, yeah, they line up perfect. Alrighty then. Alright. It's in there. So now I just gotta find a plug and plug it in. Alright, well this plug will not work on the motherboard that I have. I guess this is such an old setup. It's got nine pins and we have five across, uh, six across the top, five across the bottom. And the only plug I've got has got five pins across the top and four across the bottom. So either I have to find a, an adapter of some sort or I just have to get another more modern card adapter. So I guess this video will continue when I figure it out. 
All right, yeah, I found one on eBay, but it's going to be coming from Hong Kong, which means it won't be here for, like, huh, a month, possibly. Maybe uh, three weeks, four weeks, something like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to get. I verified that the connection is a 9-pin USB uh, main board cable, which is what I need. So, yeah, I can't find an adapter, or if there's anything out there, it's going to cost too much to make it work so I'll just be pulling this one back out and I'll wait for this one to arrive so we'll just make this a two-part video and we'll continue this when the new card reader arrives